Okay, children. Till now we have seen three types of bond. That is single covalent bond, double covalent bond, triple covalent bond. Now some other forms of some other covalent bonds. Formation of methane molecule there itself. Methane formula is CH4. Here it is between two dissimilar elements. We have seen clearly till now we have studied about similar elements of the bond will be formed. It is dissimilar elements. One is carbon, other one is hydrogen. What is the bond formed between these two elements? Now we are going to see that for the concept by sharing of electrons a bond will be get formed. A new molecule for that molecule is called as methane molecule. To do this one, we are having carbon is one element and hydrogen is another element. If we go for carbon, whose atomic number is 6, which belongs to 4th A group elements. Electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p. 2 we can give it up. And its shell is first shell is having 2 electrons, second shell is having 4 electrons. If you go for Lewis dot structure, valence shell is having 4 electrons, therefore carbon symbol is C, it will have 4 electrons 1, 2, 3, and 4 electrons. LDS represent Lewis dot structure. But this carbon is overlapping with what? With four hydrogen atoms. Go for hydrogen atom whose atomic number is one. Belongs to first A group element. Electronic configuration is one. Only one electronic valency shell. Therefore, the Lewis dot structure of this hydrogen atom is hydrogen having an electron. But here, how many hydrogens we require there? Four hydrogens are required. Then for one hydrogen, two hydrogen, three hydrogen, as well as four hydrogens. These four hydrogens will be shared electrons with four electrons of carbon and form a molecule called as methane molecule carbon having an electron 1, 2, 3, 4 one hydrogen will be sharing electron here itself we take it up one hydrogen sharing an electron another hydrogen sharing an electron another hydrogen sharing an electron another hydrogen is sharing an electron so that four covalent bonds are forming this is one covalent bond this is another covalent bond this is another covalent bond this is another covalent bond so that carbon sharing each electron with four hydrogens and attaining stable electronic configuration of neon. Similarly, hydrogen by sharing one electron with one electron of carbon and attaining duplet configuration. Duplet configuration of helium. So that helium is also a stable element, neon is also a stable element. Therefore, carbon by sharing its four electrons with four hydrogen atoms of elements and forming a new molecule, four covalent bonds, that molecule is called as methane, methane molecule. In this way, four covalent bonds will be get formed. The structure of methane molecule will be in such a way that hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. In this way, the structure of 
methane molecule will be at x state. Formation of ammonia molecule. Ammonia molecule formula is NH3. Here also two dissimilar elements. Nitrogen is one element. Hydrogen is another element. Go for nitrogen. Atomic number is seven. Belongs to fifth A group element. Electronic configuration is one S two, two S two, two P three. First shell is adding two electrons. Second shell is adding five electrons. It requires more three electrons. Therefore, Lewis dot structure of nitrogen is one, one, two, three, four, five. We have taken the answer. Similarly, go for next element is what hydrogen. Atomic number is one. Belongs to first A group element. Electronic configuration is one S one. It is having only one electron. Lewis dot structure of this one. Lewis dot structure of hydrogen is hydrogen having an electron. But we require how many hydrogens here? Three hydrogens are required. Therefore, I am taking three hydrogens there. One, two, three. These three hydrogens will be sharing with uh, three individual electrons, three individual unpaired electrons of nitrogen there itself. If we go for nitrogen, we are having a paired electron there. Remaining three are unpaired. These three unpaired electrons will be shared by three hydrogen atoms and form a new molecule. That molecule is called as ammonia molecule. How it will be made from? Let me see the nitrogen. If I have taken here, having a lone pair and one, two, three electrons. This electron will be shared by. One hydrogen atom. This electron will be shared by another hydrogen atom. This electron will be shared by another hydrogen atom. Such that the three covalent bonds, three covalent bonds will be get formed in between them. Therefore, having one lone pair of electron. For an ammonia molecule, one lone pair of electron, which is lone pair of electron means what? Which is not participating in bond formation. Not participating in bond formation. We we'll call that one as lone pair. This is the molecule called as ammonia molecule. Each hydrogen atom contributes its electron with one electron of hydrogen atom and form three covalent bonds. In this way, ammonia molecule will be get formed there itself. This formula is H two O. How it will be get formed? Let me see it. Water molecule. Within this, also two different dissimilar elements are there. One is hydrogen, other one is oxygen. Coming to first of all, oxygen, whose atomic number is eight, which belongs to fifth A group element, one S two, two S two, two P four. Therefore, if you go by the itself, first shell is having two electrons, second shell is having six electrons. Go with Lewis dot structure. If you go for Lewis dot structure, the oxygen. Valence shell is having two electrons there itself. Therefore, six it is the valence shell. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we go for oxygen, we have five and six. It is having two unpaired electrons. And next element is what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen atomic number is one. Belongs to first A group element. Electronic configuration is one S one, having one electron in valence shell. Lewis dot structure. If you go for diagram of Lewis dot structure, it is having an hydrogen, hydrogen in the form of hydrogen as well. If you give that to the present Lewis dot structure, one hydrogen. 
But when I normally don't consider two hydrogens are there, therefore take and consider two hydrogens by itself. Therefore, these two hydrogens overlap with what? Two unpaired electrons of oxygen. If these two electrons are contributed by two unpaired electrons of oxygen and form two covalent bonds. Let me see how it will form that itself. If I go for, as the board is not a little bit good, I am going here itself. Oxygen atom having a one paired electron, one paired electron, two paired electron, one electron, two electrons you can give it up. This electron is contributed by one more hydrogen atom here. This electron is contributed by one more hydrogen atom and form two covalent bonds. And form two covalent bonds. If you go for this way, we are having this is one one pair of electron, this is of another one pair. Therefore, we are having two lone pair of electrons are existing within oxygen water molecule which are not participating in bond formation. Therefore, two covalent bonds are forming here within water molecule. Within ammonia molecule, we are having three covalent bonds and one lone pair is existing. When it comes to methane molecule, four covalent bonds are forming. Each hydrogen atom, four hydrogen atoms, contributing its own electron, one electron, with one electron of carbon atom and forming four covalent bonds within methane molecule. Within ammonia molecule, one lone pair of electron will be that existing. Remaining three unpaired electrons of nitrogen contributes its electron with three hydrogen molecules, three hydrogen atoms of elements and form three covalent bonds so that ammonia molecule will form. Next thing is what oxygen molecule. When it comes to oxygen molecule, water molecules are not oxygen, water molecule. Within this water molecule formation, we have two, two unpaired electrons of oxygen will be shared with the two hydrogen atoms. It contributes its electron with the each hydrogen atom and form two covalent bonds and two lone pair of electrons will be that existing. By this we have completed our topic called as covalent bond. Now coming to worksheet, what the worksheet would be? In next class, till I come to you, in next class, till that time, revise about do this worksheet and be familiar with the covalent bond topic. I wish you all the best. Thank you.